where they do say it's a fruit, and yeah. they use that as a clever way of doing a homophobic joke, which is great. Yeah. Your 70s is showing. Um, Jim Richardson is, mm-hmm. I guess, a main character in this movie? I guess he yeah. is, yeah. Uh, the press secretary for mm-hmm. the president. Mm-hmm. Um, he's in a very tiny room. Yes. With... Yeah, Another, they have like, eight people. they have a room that's like a boardroom, or it's supposed to be a boardroom, but it's a really tiny room, so everybody's got to cl- crawl over the desk to sit down. And we cut to this room several times with them. And it takes forever for this this joke to play out. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, yeah. it takes five minutes for them to literally all physically crawl yeah. into this room and get into their chair. Like we see the whole thing mm-hmm. in painstakingly real time. Yeah, like don't don't waste your time doing that. Like if you just have them crawling in and the image of one of the guys crawling over the mm-hmm. table to get to the far end chair. And you're fine. And then, and then, you, then cut, you cut to and something then else and then down, you cut back. Yeah. Then that's fine. Mm-hmm. To literally sit there and, and watch. watch these like eight yeah. grown men. Mm-hmm. And they're not acting. They're physically no. now trying to yeah. all fix, fit into this room for comedic purposes. Mm-hmm. We get Doctors Morrison and uh, Nakatafu. Mm-hmm. And the funny thing about Nakatafu is... Yes. He's talking, but mm-hmm. his voice is voiced over. It is clearly dubbed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, made a, they made a Pearl Harbor joke, which yep. is fine. I mean, if you didn't know that that ship was... In Pearl Harbor, yeah, like the Japanese doctor knocks off a picture of one of the boats that got taken down in Pearl Harbor, and it lands in a fish tank. They also make a joke, a joke about him being Japanese. Mm-hmm. That's not, yeah, uh, cool. No, this is where the whole fruit and yeah. use the other f word yeah. for gay people. Yeah, that's it's 1978. Mm-hmm. I get it. Fine. Yeah. Um. Then they all leave the room again, painstakingly long to do that. Mm-hmm. They're walking down the hallway. They run into a guy having a shower for some reason. Yeah, I mean, again, a, it's par- it's a parody yeah, film, yeah. so I guess that's the joke. But it's like a it's couple sort doctors of have a bad experiment where they go blind. Mm-hmm. They meet a human rope, like an android. Yeah, is it an android? It's an android named Bruce. Yeah, who just kind of does some funny things and then jumps off screen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then Mason Dixon gets his team. Yes, we have a team for you, Mason. There's mm-hmm. Sam Smith, yes, the uh, the master of disguise. There's Greta Appleton. We mm-hmm. took her from the Olympics. She's so in a master she's, swimmer. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you've got what's his name? Greg Colburn. Yeah. The diver. The diver. Which I'm like, what do you need the swimmer and the diver for? Yeah. Okay. And then you, a fourth member, Finn mm-hmm. Letter, will join you later on. Yes. Okay. We get a bunch of kids on a boat. They mm-hmm. get killed by the tomatoes. Jaws. Style. Jaws parody time. When did Jaws come out? 76? 77. 77? I think. I think. It's like the year before. Yeah. Like, guys. 76 or 77, yeah. Too soon, again. No, don't... no, no. This is what parody does. It, it was perfectly fine, yeah. I'm not saying too soon, just so I'm like, no, no, that movie's way better. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you don't want to... I mean, that's the thing. Like, I'll say this now because I'll forget later. This is on the level of, like... Date movie and uh, disaster movie bad parody. Yeah, it's just it. Everything... Now I'm sure we've just pissed off a lot of people by saying that. That's but fine. Sorry, it's um, true. Those movies, as far as parody movies, they just don't hold up. The jokes just don't land, and that's kind of where I'm landing with this. Oh, unintended. So Jim Richardson's holding a press conference, mm-hmm. and then at the end of the press conference, everyone's about to leave, but little Bobby Drake, a little kid from mm-hmm. some random whatever paper. Asks Ask a question. He's like, tomatoes. oh, it's going to be cute. The little kid will ask a question. And then he asks, what about the growing concern about the killer tomatoes? And mm-hmm. then it gets like comedically panned into his face going, oh. And then all the other reporters are like, yeah, what yeah, about wait the a minute. killer tomatoes? Yeah. And then he has to like come up with some bullshit press secretary right. thing. We, f- oh my god, this fucking shit. <laughs> okay, so starting here and throughout the film, we just cut to a room of senators. Yeah, that they live there, I guess. They just live there, and they're old, and that's kind of the joke yep. for the whole film. Mm-hmm. They, they're they lost, they don't have enough papers for everyone, Yep, they're literally just sleeping in a scene. Well, the idea, I think, originally was that like they're missing one of their the documents, yeah, and yeah. then somehow the editor of the newspaper has a document. Yeah. And it's like, all right. Because, yeah, we cut to the newspaper uh, editor mm-hmm. and get me anyone. But no one, everyone's on assignment. Except, except for, for the Fairchild, Lois Fairchild, like the, the society so- person. The society section. Okay. Fine, we'll get, get me her. her. Uh, some dirt pikers are killed mm-hmm. by the tomatoes. Because, you know, you got to keep that going. 
And then, yeah, he tells he tells her, like, hey, go, this is going to be difficult, and blah, 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 go out and do it. And they use her ass. Yeah. Because, again, 70s! Mm, you're a woman, you could do that. So then, yeah. this is where we get the, the bad Superman joke. Yep. Um, she's out interviewing somebody, and then as... A guy in a suit. No, that no, looks... no. That's later. Oh, is it later? Yeah, I thought it was here. Later. No, the mm-hmm. cops are killed right now. Oh, right. Okay. They're just arguing, and then the co- and then the tomatoes show up, and they're like, uh, "Get out of here! I don't want to die. I don't want to yeah. die either." And then they just get killed off screen. Yeah. I'm assuming because we never see them again. Mm-hmm. Uh, we no, we get Jim Richardson right. with the president. And right. He's got a his his handlers giving him a bunch of pens because his pens keep dying. Yeah. Or he, he's using a pen no, he's per using document. a pen for each document that he's signing. I don't know why that's funny. The same reason that he's not actually signing documents. It's just literally presidential signing. And he signs the document and then crumples it up and throws it. Signs the document, gets a new pen, signs the document, crumples it up and throws it. I don't know what the point is. Uh, Mason's interviewing the old man from before. This Mm -hmm. is where he asks about the crib. Yeah. This is where we get Lois. and She's walking and then walking with Mason. And Mm -hmm. then we get a, oh, hey, Clark. And then he's actually, you can see he's Superman. And then uh, you hear him in the back. Up up and away. Up and away. And then... The only the only kind of joke I do enjoy in that part is that the old man looks up at the sky and keeps pointing and like literally trying to get her attention. Like, do you not notice that this guy flew away? But you know, nothing comes of it. I was like, all right, I guess that's funny. Sure. We get all the agents riding around in an unmarked carpool. Mm-hmm. Ha ha. Funny. Uh, we get the first uh, first lyrics of Puberty Love. Yeah, a song that is played throughout the film. Um, and a joke that I'm pretty sure Tim Burton mm. ripped off from Mars Attacks. Oh, definitely. Um, we'll get to that later. Um, the agents are dropped off one by one. Mm-hmm. Um, and every time a new agent is dropped off, Sam Smith is dressed like somebody else. Yeah. And at the end, he's dressed like Hitler. Yeah. Of which Finletter lands on the car. Mm-hmm. He's the paratrooper. Yeah. And he gets angry because that's Hitler. And like, no, no, I gotta no, kill he's that only Hitler. pretending he's like, no, to be He's Hitler. a master of disguise. Oh. Wow. And then he starts speaking German? Yep. Okay. Sure. Why not? Uh, and then he tells him to go dress like a tomato and go uh, become one of them. Infiltrate. Yes. Uh, Greg just goes into a pool, what seems to be in a, a, a town square of some sort, mm-hmm. and we literally never see him again. Mm-hmm. That is his last... Yep. Uh, Jim Richardson sent to a man named Mr. Swan mm-hmm. because the uh, he's an ad man, he's a pitch man. Yep. He's one of those types, hey, hey, by the president because... Uh, oh, wait, no, he doesn't go into a pool, he goes into a fountain. A fountain. That's right, the joke, right, right, yeah. Because right. um, the president used him for some a minesweeper, I don't know mm-hmm. what it was, like some sort of ad campaign. Yeah. And he does a song about buying and selling things. Yep. Just breaks in a song. Which, cool. Yeah. Again, right. it, it's at this moment I'm like, oh, so whenever so whenever someone sings a song, yeah. I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. Whenever someone tries to act, I'm not going to. Mm. And during this scene, there's an ad yeah. for furniture. Yeah. Going across the screen. Yeah. That's the joke. Okay. Mm-hmm. He shows him a, a, an advertisement he's done mm-hmm. about a blind cop doing traffic. Yeah. And then at the end of it, the joke is, and this cop is blind. And Jim Richards is like, oh, comedic yeah. uh, reaction. Uh, Finn and Dixon go to a hotel, but Finn thinks they're going to be like, we're camping outside, right? No, where you see that building right there? It's called a hotel. We're going to stay inside there. It's like, what do you mean? And, and he doesn't get the concept. Which, okay. Uh, Lois sneaks around. She somehow see they get they get two room keys yeah and then she walks right in behind them and goes yes i need also a room key i need yeah. a room key for that room and the guy just gives it to her she's a woman right i guess that's the I joke guess. and then she sneaks in the middle of the night finn letter mm-hmm. catches her she goes oh i'm so sorry and then leaves and then he just goes and oh it's mason's like who is that he's like it's a strumpet a lady of the night somehow she's a, it's a prostitute yes okay all right sure mm-hmm um Sam is one with the tomatoes now. He's got. He's ingratiated he's himself. Dressed, he's no, no. He's sorry. He's oh no, dressed sorry. He's like dressed one. like a tomato, and, and he's then we see him creeping later. in. Yeah. Uh, we get Finletter and Mason listening to a broadcast MBS, and they just mm-hmm. keep in a roundabout way saying mm-hmm. they're the news mm-hmm. in like different ways, and they literally just give up and leave. Yep. Okay. Sure. We get a talking dog and a kid that gets killed by tomatoes. Which, again, 
kind of funny. <laughs> it was like out of nowhere. It's like, like, what is it, boy? Okay, and then the dog literally just says, "I'm just gonna go check this out. I'll be right back." I'm like, wait, what? Well, he's like, oh, I don't know, like a date. Like, yeah, it's it's know, the Davey. it's the yeah it's the dog yeah, from that... uh, Davy and Goliath the yeah. old cartoons. But like, it was still kind of. He's literally just says like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna go check this out. I'll be right back." And then the tomatoes eat them. That was kind of funny. Uh. The army with Mason Dixon Mills, and it's all the I think the what the big joke here was mm-hmm. the PA system guy like talking yeah. about at the end is like oh if you're in the this parking lot your lights are on yeah my God oh it's funny because it's an army base I guess we get a big tomato like mm-hmm. a big fucking huge well they tomato. they make a point of being like you know at, in, at one point they're like oh like a regular sized tomato they they've captured actually it's a large tomato a very large tomato and yeah. they captured it i guess this isn't a huge one a hu- the huge yeah. ones come later and then this he's is just the like cherry. yeah and then he's just like oh my god it's the, it's our worst fear this is the cherry tomato and then a giant fucking one you know the size of uh, a blimp comes rolling down the street yeah comedy so greta instead of eating her wheaties she's yes. eating her steroids which is the oldest joke in the book. Uh, and then she's killed by tomatoes. Yep. And then sort she's of. told by Finn, yeah. who finds her body, that yeah. he has to report to Greta mm-hmm. that there's tomo- tomatoes in her sector. Mm-hmm. And then he literally pokes her with a stick yep. and goes, I'm here to report that there's tomatoes in your sector. Mm. He salutes her and then he walks away. Sure. Sure. More Senate stuff. Mm-hmm. I think this is where they were sleeping. Yes. No, no, that's later. This is literally just them lost. Oh, yeah. One's reading the paper. Um, JR goes back to Swan. Mm-hmm. Um, they, he has his big plan. It's like tomato plants versus nuclear plants. Yeah. And how he's going to spin that, like, well, you know, some people are getting killed by tomatoes, but a lot more people get killed by, like, car accidents. Yeah, and, and like, you know what accident. You know what giant tomatoes mean? Giant pizza. Yeah. It's like, fucking, okay. And then he shows his prize advertisement. Mm-hmm. The one he's, this is his big one, the biggest one. Yeah. And then it's literally, hi, I'm, I'm Jesus, Jesus Christ, <laughs> for Technotron. <laughs> yeah, which again, not a bad joke. I'm like, okay. Occasionally, so... they seem to have decent jokes. Yes. It's, it's, you know, even a, So once know... again, yeah. I'm realizing, not only is when someone singing, I'm enjoying this movie, when this swan character's involved, <laughs> I'm enjoying this movie. Unfortunately, we don't see him again. Mm-hmm. He's done. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole, oh, they're attacking in L.A. Crowd runs one way. Yeah. Chicago. The crowd runs, runs another way. way. Boston. Crowd runs the other way. Okay, I get this. Mm-hmm. Even saying the word tomato causes panic. Literally a guy the in a room just goes, smiling at the camera and, and just like, tomato. And they all run away and he's like laughing his ass off. I'm like, that's kind of funny. It's the breaking of the fourth wall. I guess. If it feels like we're just running this movie down, it's because I want to get over this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> so we're no way, I apologize if this is a bad episode. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's one thing if the movie's bad, but you can make fun of it. Here's the thing. It's hard to make fun we're of this. We're gonna spend, we're probably gonna spend more time at the end of this explaining why we didn't like this movie yeah. than talking about the actual movie mm-hmm. itself. Um, so that's why I'm just trying to run this over, because I want there to be time for us to actually have a discussion. <laughs> right. Um... Dixon's with the tomatoes, and mm-hmm. they chase him, and then they leave him alone. Yeah. I don't know. This is where the Senate was caught sleeping. More stuff with the doctors. The guy's still dubbed. Mm. Uh, Lois and Finn, they kind of established that they're going to go to bed together? I don't kind know. Kind of. It seems like she's like, like let's... Like, she's pretending... Because this is when she calls her... Um, chief, and he's like, yeah. you're a woman, you can do anything, you could get him to do anything. And then she sort of goes, okay, let's just go to bed as like, okay, I guess I have to sleep with this guy to get some information. He has no fucking clue what's going on, so she just goes up to the room, lies in the bed, waits for him, and he he's like, I've just got to go to bed. So he starts making up the couch where he's been sleeping. By the way, still has the parachute attached to him. And uh, she's lying in the bed waiting, he doesn't show up, and she goes, well, what the hell's going on? And then he freaks the fuck out. And tries to kill her yeah they fight um and in between this mason is there's a failed attest, a, assassination attempt mm-hmm. as there's a gun trailing him and kills like the three people that are around him on the street yeah instead of him and then we see lois just running in down the hallway no that's not her mm-hmm. that wasn't her i don't believe that was her no, i think that was, that was her. a joke was it her yeah that why was, was her. she in her underwear because he 
stripped her because they were fighting. I don't even remember that. Wow, this movie really didn't do um, much for me. 